Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Auntie Binta's Kitchen, the show where individuals, couples, families and even those in the corporate world come to enjoy different African delicacies and beverages as well. Now, this show gives viewers the ultimate quality, making sure that you learn from her 30 minutes non-stop interesting overview of indigenous delicacies, truly African. I trust mothers, wives, and those who just love to cook would love this show. So all you have to do is stay glued and enjoy a long-lasting relishing moment as we take you on this beautiful ride. Today, our host, Vinta Damien, will be preparing a delicious delicacy and also take us through the different stages of getting it right. Enjoy her roller coaster ride. It is all for you. Hello viewers, welcome to another exciting episode of Winter's Kitchen, the show where viewers get to learn something new on every episode. Today, what I'll be preparing is Nigeria beef pepper soup prepared with boiled plantain. And also, me and Kekoshi sit down, relax, and we'll be right back. of Auntie Binta's Kitchen, the show where individuals, couples, families and even those in the corporate world come to enjoy different African delicacies and beverages as well. Now, this show gives viewers the ultimate quality, making sure that you learn from her 30 minutes non-stop interesting overview of indigenous delicacies, truly African. I trust mothers, wives, and those who just love to cook would love this show. So all you have to do is stay glued and enjoy a long-lasting relishing moment as we take you on this beautiful ride. Welcome back to the show, and if you are just joining us, this is Auntie Vinta's Kitchen, the show where viewers get to learn something new on every episode. Today, what I'll be preparing is boiled plantain and pepper soup with me and Kerkeshi. The Nigeria pepper soup is the only soup that Nigerians actually drink, unlike egusi soup, ogbono soup, or ha soup, and so on, which is much thicker, probably be eaten with eba, fufu, amala, pounded yam, and so on. I like pepper soup, and most of you will agree with me that pepper soup is a lifesaver when you are sick and have no appetite. There are so much varieties in preparation of pepper soup which largely depends on the region you come from in Nigeria. Some people use ingredients like palm oil, crayfish and so on. Others eat the soup with side light dishes like plantain, rice and echo. And these are the ingredients used in preparing Nigeria beef pepper soup with boiled plantain. Where we have our onion, we have our seasoning cube, we have all our spices in preparing pepper soup. We have our salt to taste, we have our beef, we have our unripe plantain, our scent pepper, the last but not the least, our fresh pepper. Names are given to Nigeria pepper soup depending on your choice. We have goat meat pepper soup, assorted meat pepper soup and also fish pepper soup depending on your choice. Now I'm about to prepare my soup. Let's go cooking! Before cooking any food, make sure you wash your hands. And this is what I'm about to do now. Because it's pepper soup, I'm going to cut it in pieces. So now I'll be cutting it in pieces.
Welcome back to the show and if you are just joining us, this is Auntie Vinta's Kitchen, the show where viewers get to learn something new on every episode and today what I'm preparing is beef pepper soup with boiled plantain. What I've just done, I've washed my meat, my meat is on fire, added onion and seasoning cube, salt to taste. The next step now is to pound my fresh pepper and add it into the soup. I'll pound my pepper, fresh pepper, depending on your choice, you can use dry pepper, you can also use fresh pepper, but I prefer fresh pepper. So we pound it, it's because it's African delicacy, that's why we, you can see we are using our mortar, because it's called truly African. Because it is called pepper soup, make sure your pepper is not smooth. Okay, now I'm through with my pepper and I'll add it in. Add your pepper. Anything you add in your soup, make sure you stir it together. And you cover it. And now it's time for me to slice my scent leaf. Scent leaf. Anytime you prepare pepper soup, you must use scent leaf. If you want to get that taste and that aroma, you must use your scent leaf. Don't use much, just use little. Slice in your scent leaf. I'll add my scent leaf to it. You can see I did not use much of it. But depending on your choice, you can use as much as you want. Then you stir it together. Stir. The pepper soup is coming up. You add your pepper soup spicy. This is our pepper soup spicy. You put it according to your taste. Stir again. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. Well done. Now let's peel our unripe plantain. I'm about to cook my plantain. So the first step, just the easy way to boil your plantain, cut it like this, like this. I see need more. Put water on fire. Mm. 
then my plantain is going in. Use the water to this. When you need water, you can still add it. Let me check my progressive. I think I need to add more water. You know, because you have added water, you need to test it. If it's not okay, you now add some seasoning cube and salt paste. Okay, just, just need to salt. Cube of Remember why I added salt and seasoning cube is because I added water to it. It's okay now. You can see that pepper soup is very easy to cook and what we are waiting for now is our plantain. Sit down, relax and we'll be right back. of Auntie Binta's Kitchen, the show where individuals, couples, families, and even those in the corporate world come to enjoy different African delicacies and beverages as well. Now, this show gives viewers the ultimate quality, making sure that you learn from her 30 minutes non-stop interesting overview of indigenous delicacies, truly African. I trust mothers, wives, and those who just love to cook would love this show. So all you have to do is stay glued and enjoy a long-lasting relishing moment as we take you on this beautiful ride. Now our pepper soup is ready. Let me put off my gas. Uh -huh. Let's check. You can see. Wow. So I put off my gas. Bring it down. Allow it to cold for like three minutes. If you want to peel the back, make sure you add cold water. Okay, now watch the way I do it. See, very easy. The next step. If you like, you can mix it, but this is how I want it. If you like, you can pull your plantain in. in. Garnish it with your scent leaf. And our pepper soup with boiled plantain is ready.
Wow, delicious. I like pepper soup and most of you will agree with me that pepper soup is a lifesaver when you are sick and have no appetite. I hope you practice step by step what we've learned today. You can like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Instagram. I still remain your one and only host, Binta Damian. Have a lovely week. Bye. of Anti Bintas Kitchen, the show where individuals, couples, families, and even those in the corporate world come to enjoy different African delicacies and beverages as well. Now, this show gives viewers the ultimate quality, making sure that you learn from her 30 minutes non stop interesting overview of indigenous delicacies. Truly African. I trust mothers, wives, and those who just love to cook would love this show. So all you have to do is stay glued and enjoy a long-lasting relishing moment as we take you on this beautiful ride. Hi, my name is Bintas Damian, the host for Bintas Kitchen. The show where viewers get to learn something new on every episode. Join me on this station every week as I prepare African delicacy, Binta's Kitchen, go, go. Truly Africa. And to Binta Show made it fun right there. Hope you enjoyed every bit of it. Well, that's this week's episode of Binta's Kitchen. Do not forget to send us an email on bintaskitchen at gmail.com. Also, get onto Facebook and like our Facebook page. We are also on Twitter and on Instagram as well. Till we come your way again, stay cool and keep practicing at home what you have learned on the show today. We also welcome your emails. Bye-bye.